Ty's pumpkin walk has become a staple in the Poland community. First News has covered it year after year as it continues to grow. The fun family Halloween display raises money for a good cause, but this year it's missing. I spoke with creator Tyler Haynes, who explains why. Since the pumpkin walk has basically outgrown the backyard and the front yard and the side of the yard, uh, we are trying to find an indoor retail space with plenty of parking so it doesn't bother anyone. A project that started during the pandemic, carving hundreds of foam pumpkins to bring that Halloween magic to families in Poland, has now outgrown Tyler Haynes' home. It's just weird not having the walk and not seeing the people and yeah, but we're still working on it for next year. I'm still carving. With over 15,000 visitors last year crowding his tiny yard in Poland and congesting the neighborhood, Haynes wants to find a space with lots of parking he can rent for two months from mid-September to mid-November so he can hold the pumpkin walk all October long. But retail space was going for between ten dollars and $20,000 a month, making it impossible this year. That's the other part of the dream. We still want to keep this free for everyone in the community. Nobody has to pay to come and see it. Uh, and then everything that we get through donations can go directly to an, a local organization and uh, build up our community. Haynes loves the community support and he still wants to find a space. He says it's the only thing that's kept him bringing back the pumpkin walk year after year. The fact that we raised almost $12,000 last year for uh, Squeaky Wheel Theater Company and their special needs program, that was, it, it made everything worth it. It's, it's a blast. To keep up with Ty's Pumpkin Walk and their journey on finding a new home, you can go to Ty'spumpkinwalk.com. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.